He didn't find a headset. Now we're gonna look at some shoes real quick. And yeah, I'm just having a blast being outside on my lunch break because I never get out of the house. So I'm really excited right now, but yeah. to go to Starbucks to go ahead and try one of their new summer berry drinks for the summer and then we're gonna go ahead and head to the Tanger outlets today now we're at the outlet y'all so we're about to go get some shopping in as you guys can see boom we're at the outlet about to have some fun and it's Memorial Day weekend, right, babe? Mm hmm So yeah, so we're excited, y'all. He's never been to the Tanger outlet, so I hope I can show him a good time at the Tanger and uh, we can spend some money, right? <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'll let y'all know what we get into. Hey y'all, what's up? So I am on my way to personal training today and so far y'all, it's actually been really good. I've been really enjoying personal training. I'm not sure if it's just like I enjoy getting out the house because I do work remotely or if it's like I'm excited because I'm getting my body right or it might just be a mixture of both. But um, I have definitely been enjoying like just getting out there and just like working as hard as I can to try to get the best results possible uh, for my wedding because I want to be in tip top shape. So yeah, so next week I'm going to start to go like just a little bit earlier because I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like 645 is like really late. So I was like really excited whenever they said they open up some earlier slots because y'all after i get back home from the gym it'd be like eight o'clock for me like i like to take my bath early i like to kind of relax after work i don't really like to be you know like out and about doing stuff in the evening especially like during the weekday like during the weekday i don't really care to do that but um yeah so that's a little update on personal training i do feel like i'm losing a little bit of inches y'all because my waist beads that i got at the farmer's market a few weeks ago it's starting to fit me a little loose y'all okay so i do think that i'm getting a little bit of resolve like this detox cleanse where i was 
um, drinking green smoothies and eating almonds and eggs and pretty much that was it y'all um, so I finished that I did mess up for like three days because Memorial Day weekend kind of like ruined it and like I said we work from home so me and my fiance got out and we went out to eat and we just had so much fun for Memorial Day weekend um, so I'm actually going to include some of that in this vlog y'all probably already saw that so we've pretty much been having like a very fun time like buying things to do uh, over the past couple of weeks so sorry if my vlog seemed like it's going from weekend to weekend because that's literally like what it is and how it is for us because we really just get out and do things mainly on like the weekends because we be bored on the weekends um so yeah so we did find this farmer's market y'all i really did enjoy going to the farmer's market um i felt like everything there that we got was super fresh y'all and it lasted super long so like whenever we buy like groceries at the store i noticed that our fruits only last for like a couple of days but i noticed that the stuff that we got at the farmer's market like this stuff has lasted like two weeks and i'm like whoa so yeah, so we really had a good time at the farmer's market. If you're interested in going to the farmer's market, the Houston farmer's market to be exact, I will let you guys know it is a lot of Hispanics, um, but they do speak English, y'all. But the majority of the time we were there, my fiance speaks fluent Spanish. So he was talking to them and working out different deals on like the fruits and stuff um, like that. Outside, they had other types of vendors. So they were like um, just different things like food, uh, snacks. There was a lady selling waist beads. So I got a waist bead. Um, and just different little things like that. They had that like in the back of the farmer's market. So if you go, it's not just fruits, y'all. You got to go all the way to the back and there's multiple vendors. And I think the vendors sometimes change on the weekends. So you could find and run into like different vendors. But so we did that. Um, what else did we do? We went to the best stop. We love Boudin, y'all. Okay, we from Louisiana. So if y'all don't know what Boudin is, just look it up. But they do have a best stop about an hour away from us. So we decided to go to the best stop in Katy. Texas. We also visited this place called the Puttery. They have really good like banana pudding. They have like Biscoff flavors, Oreo flavor pudding. Um, they have this thing called like a croffle, which is like a croissant waffle type thing with like banana pudding on top, but it was so good. But if you guys watch like Keith Lee and like all of his like food reviews, then y'all probably know what I'm talking about when he did the food review on the puttery. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, I have to try that banana pudding, y'all. Um, so we did try that and then we went out to the outlets. It was so much fun, y'all. They had this like little shooting range thing that we went to that was like really, really like surprising for me. I'm like, why would they have this? in like a shopping outlet but it kind of made sense because i feel like it was the only like activity there to do and it was actually something really cool and unexpected that we got to do that day but um but yeah so so memorial day was really good all that um yeah so pretty much like i said back to work um back on to personal training y'all it y'all just wanted to kind of give y'all a little update on what was going on and a little update on all the clips that y'all just saw and I'm like super duper duper tired y'all so today I pretty much had to do uh, these kettlebell workouts and today I had five sets of 20 and today the owner of the gym actually trained me and I think she's a little bit harder because I read on some reviews like 100 is her favorite number so today I wasn't with one of her trainer assistants today I was actually with her so um yeah but i mean today was a pretty good workout i think that i'm getting better and better as far as my stamina and i feel like whenever i like really start getting into the groove and i really start getting tired that's kind of when it's time to go home so that's perfect uh when i kind of lose all my energy in the gym but yeah but i'd say today was a pretty good workout um i do go to the gym earlier now so right now it's 6 20 and i'm on my way home which is a huge difference because before i was going to the gym at uh 6 45 so i wasn't making it back home and settling in until about you know 8 30. i got my little cup of water y'all trying to do better with my water i probably need to drink some water right now but i am sweating down y'all okay sweating and i feel so good and then um yeah so you guys will be seeing later this month i'm actually going out of town for my little bachelorette trip so y'all know every year if you've been watching my channel for like the past two years you know me my aunts and my cousins we always go on like this little girls trip well this year i won't have bridesmaids for my wedding or anything like that so they're throwing me this like girls trip bachelorette um so we're gonna go out of town so i'm gonna go to lafayette to meet my family and then we're all gonna drive out of town for my bachelorette we excited y'all because we're gonna be trying out the sugar factory and if you know the sugar factory it's a place where they have like all kind of sweet treats but they also are popular for like their drinks that have like dried ice and like the drinks are all like smoky 
So that's like something that I'm really looking forward to because I've been wanting to go to the sugar factory for like years, but I never went to a place. I don't think I've been to a place where there was actually a sugar factory. I know that they, they might have one coming in Texas or maybe have one in Texas, but I've never um, seen it. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to go to the sugar factory. I'm very excited about that. And we're also going to be um, in an Airbnb on the beach. So I'm super excited, y'all. And I can't wait for y'all to see the exactly how much of that I plan to vlog because I do plan to kind of just, you know, be in the moment and stuff. But I definitely uh, will be making like a TikTok and trying to get as many pictures as I can because I'll have like the biggest room there with like the balcony and everything. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just ready, y'all. And I didn't already order me a new suitcase and I didn't order me um, a whole bunch of outfits from Timu. Y'all y'all know how I do. When it's time to go on a trip, baby, I'm going to either Shein or Timu or Fashion Nova and I'm going to order me a few dresses or a few sets and I'm calling it a day. But Timu has some really cute luggage sets, y'all. Um, and I just wanted like a little small luggage, which is like a little carry-on that I had saw on Walmart.com. So they had the same one on Timu. So I ended up just going ahead and order it uh, with my Timu order. And yeah, so I'm pretty much ready. I'm just waiting for my clothes to come in and then I can pretty much pack. So that's how easy it's going to be for me. But uh, I'm super excited. And we also plan to have like an all-white dinner, which is going to be at the Sugar Factory. So I did order like two dresses. I hope one of them work out. Um, I hope the sizing and everything fits right. Um, if not, I probably won't have time to send one back. But we'll see how that works out. Um, but I ordered two just to be safe. I hope it works out. But yeah, so that's something I'm really, really looking forward to this I don't month. know about y'all, but like for me, like it doesn't even feel like summer, y'all. And I finally realized that it's summer because... If y'all know, I got a new job in tech where I work in sales right now. And pretty much everybody that I'm calling or like emailing, I'm getting all these like out of office notices from people. It's already starting to get slow at work because of the summertime. But yeah, I can definitely tell like it's summertime and just working sometimes we can forget that it's summertime. But yeah, y'all, so I'm about to go home and I'm about to cook. I think I'm going to do seafood gumbo tonight. I'm not necessarily supposed to eat it, but I will eat it in portion control. And I'm also going to make potato salad. I may record but then again I might not record because yeah I'm kind of tired and I just want to go cook and go take my bath and get in the bed so yeah so I'll talk to y'all later So much fun at the Houston Premium Outlets. It was National Outlet Shopping Day and I had a blast, y'all. It was so much fun. There was somebody singing out there. They had live music. They had live. Today it's my fiance's birthday. So we're about to go out. He's about to get a pedicure. I'm about to get a refill. And then we're going to meet up with some friends and go to this place called Raw Sushi in Houston. I saw it um, from a girl on TikTok, y'all. And so I'm just very excited to go there. Their drinks look so amazing and I'm excited to try their fried rice. So that's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. We had talked about going to Dave & Buster's, but I'm not sure if we're going to go there yet and then possibly pick up my fiance's birthday. Uh, this was so random, but I recently like reposted this video of Tyler Perry talking about just letting people be who they are. And I kind of did a sort of reaction video on TikTok. And y'all, that video went viral. That video has over like 120,000 views already. So that also happened on Friday. And um, by Saturday, which was yesterday, y'all, I woke up and I was like, wait, what? 
Like I had a video go viral on TikTok. So that was my first time having a viral video. Now I did have a video on TikTok. I think two of them that hit like 30,000 views. But this video, I mean, people are sharing, reposting, um, doing a duet to my video, putting it on their stories, commenting. Like it's a lot of engagement happening on that video. So I'm super excited about that and super excited to see if we can just keep the trend going and just get more of our videos and then eventually get into the TikTok uh, creator fund. So that's my goal for TikTok. But yeah, super random y'all, but I just want to let y'all know that I had a video go viral. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, go follow your on TikTok. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me today uh, to Raw Sushi, to the nail shop, and we shall have a great day. So I'm on my way to the gym. So I just figured I'd do my last little um, closing out of the vlog and just kind of talk to you guys about the last clips that y'all saw but pretty much earlier in the vlog y'all saw that we went to the tanker outlets out in I believe it's Texas City Texas um, and then later in the vlog y'all seen us go to the Houston premium outlets for my fiance's birthday weekend y'all we had so much fun and they had so many good stores wow. like Jimmy Choo they had Burberry they had coach Michael Kors Mark Jacobs all of those stores you can think of they had it um, and we had such a great time for my fiance's birthday weekend and y'all coach is that girl okay I love the products at coach I feel like all of their stuff is really great so while I was in the coach store I decided you know what my mom is gonna like this bag so I decided to pick up my mama bag and then with the purchase I ended up having the last bag y'all okay so we got lucky with the color that she wanted and then also we got like a free perfume with her purchase so yeah so our whole coach experience was really good we had a lot of fun um when i went to jimmy Choo, y'all they gave me some champagne and i was just living this luxurious life okay and i love that for me and i ended up just picking up a perfume i wasn't really impressed with like jimmy Choo shoes and all of that like i was not impressed at all so i picked up a perfume and that was pretty much that um and then i also found a miss a store i love miss a i used to go there all the time when i lived in After dallas we left the outlets we ended up just kind of riding around a little bit and then we decided to go to daiquiri express later that day y'all daiquiri express is so good so if you're in houston definitely do make sure you go to Pearland, texas and hit up daiquiri express because the food was just amazing it's just so fresh um i got the barrier tacos y'all and they were so like hot melting your mouth they were just amazing okay i can't wait to go back but i might go back over there this weekend but um, yeah, so we had such a great time there. And then on Sunday, we actually went to brunch with some friends. But before that, we actually went get a uh, pedicure. My fiance got a pedicure. I ended up just getting a refill on my nails because I have a trip coming up in a few weeks. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna come back to the nail shop and do everything fresh. So that's why I just got a refill on my nails. Um, and then we went have brunch with some friends at this place called Ra Sushi. I came across this place on TikTok. Uh, one of the girls that I follow, she went eat over there. And I'm like, oh my God, it looks like it's so good. So we tried it. Um, I had a teriyaki bowl and I added shrimp to that teriyaki bowl and it was so good y'all. So tasty. And then I also had a strawberry margarita and I felt like the strawberry margarita was amazing as well. So I definitely say raw sushi was a 10 out of 10. So that group express and raw sushi both was a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, I think everything, you know, I do, it doesn't have to be monetized, but I see all of these people just talk about random things on TikTok and get monetized for it. And I'm like, if I can make money from it, why not make money from it? So uh, that's my next step for TikTok and kind of just take it more serious because I feel like y'all, when it comes to content creation for me, I'm so passionate about it, y'all. Like I love getting on the camera. I love showing my life. I love giving motivational talks. I love, you know, letting you guys know like the different lessons that I'm learning as I go through life and different things that I'm navigating. Like I love to do that. And sometimes when you love to do it, it's hard to really think about it strategically as a business. And whenever you're trying to monetize anything on social media, y'all, whether you're trying to work with brands or whether you just want to monetize your YouTube channel, you have to treat it like a business. Like you have to make a schedule. You have to decide, okay, here's what these people are doing. This is how they're doing it. This is the formula that's working. And you got to follow that same formula. I'm hard headed. I like to create my own formulas and I like to follow my own formulas. You know, has that bought me the most views? Hell no, because I've been doing everything kind of on my own without fully reading 
researching and things like that. And of course, you know, I look at my analytics, but there's books and videos about SEO and how you can, you know, promote yourself and get more views and things like that. But I haven't really taken the time to really dive deep into read. And that's one thing that my fiance tells me all the time. He's like, you're not studying it. You know, you're, you're not studying your craft. And I'm like, oh my God, this is so true. I don't. And I try to do this social media thing on a whim. And I think that's why I have not gotten the results that I believe I deserve, you know, but I do think that too, everything is in God's timing. You know, what, what's meant for me is going to be mine when the time is right, you know, but I know for me, I can definitely be more strategic with my YouTube channel. Yes, I'm about to be at the gym now, y'all. I just wanted to give y'all a little spill and kind of close out this vlog so it isn't like super duper long because I tried to include enough stuff to where like y'all see me do multiple things and not just like sit at home. Um, but mostly I get out the house on weekends. So that's why it may seem like a full month has gone by before I upload another vlog. But I'm going to try to get better at that, y'all. And I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to like and also subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more content. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.